Hey, so, oh god, the mic's over here. So, I got a thing in the mail, and this is my, this is my bud, my roommate, my best friend. Uh, he's gonna be taste testing this with us. We got a little something in the mail. Idubs seems to like to talk so much about fucking irony and shit, so we're gonna do a taste test of uh, a little something called irony. What do you think? Yeah? It's a Chardonnay. I don't know if I've ever had Chardonnay, so this is kind of a blind thing. Chardon... Chardonnay in my pants. <laughs> Chardonnay. Uh, 13.5% alcohol by volume, 70 probably milliliter. Probably a cork puller. Uh, probably. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Sam showed me a way of being able to peel the top real quick. I'll show yeah. you something. Ah! <laughs> you the cork says irony. Really? Uh, I'm two different. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot you could just use a blowtorch, huh? Doesn't it like pull, like push itself out or something? Yeah. Yeah. It takes a second to get started, but. <laughs> It is kind of weird to think that, like, the alcohol inside didn't, like, ignite because the heat started. Here we go! Yeah? Oh. Just don't aim it at the TV screen. Okay, there we go. Nice! Yeah, that's what's up. The fucking Dude. light caught it. So, like, we have a lamp here, which is so great. I'm glad we have one. Uh, and it's got that bowl thing. And the cork, I angled it, not even really meaning to, I angled it so that the cork would shoot out, and it ricocheted off the ceiling into the fucking bowl. Perfect lamp. Bowl lamp? Yeah. <laughs> nice. Science, bitch. Yeah. Okay, so again, I've never had Chardonnay, but that's okay, I don't give a fuck. Cause... I fucking Chardonnay in my underwear. Have you ever had Chardonnay? Yeah. Yeah. Well, what would you say you think of it, personally? I think it tastes like foot cheese. You think our Chardonnay tastes like foot cheese? Does it smell like foot cheese? Oh, it smells like burning. Does it? <laughs> Let me go cool this bottle off. Yeah. <laughs> and by the way, this is... It's not just a bottle of irony, right? It is THE bottle of irony. And the reason it is THE bottle of irony is because it came... Because it came from a company called Divine Liquors. So it is... If you if you were to say that there could be like an authority on what is the ironic drink, this is because it's divine. The drink itself comes from a place of divinity. So because of that, um, I'm going to say that this is... I broke it. <laughs> I was trying to cool the tip off and it fucking snapped off. Uh, the, the bottle broke. It's fine. There's no shards in it. Well, that just means we'll have to drink it. Yeah, it's hot still. <laughs> yeah, we're just gonna have to fucking actually drink it, drink it. So, uh, how, how much do you want to drink right now? <sighs> just pour the whole cup. We should have do a little bit so that way you can swirl it around and smell it and shit. Yeah, yeah. It does run. The alcohol runs down the side. I don't know. It's like a high quality there. Yeah, well, I mean, the bottle didn't cost that much. If you remember, it was like the, the shipping was more than the actual cost of the bottle. <laughs> yeah. Tastes like fucking. Tastes like fucking. Tastes like they had carbonated water in a box, and a truck full of cheese and feet drove by. Yeah, it, it does. It's got a great, 
grape smell. Yeah, it smells like rotten white grape. Hmm, who would have thunk it? Uh, bone at ass in tit. <laughs> yeah, uh, fucking bone apple tea. Yeah, bone apple tea or boner ass in tit. Bone smack the teeth. This ironic. The irony is that it tastes like our name. Nothing special about it. I've never had Chardonnay, but this actually, the taste isn't repulsive. No. I'm it's not... comfortable. The alcohol level is not high enough to make it nasty. I've had, I've had champagnes that the alcohol volume is so high that it tastes like shit. It just tastes like you're drinking seltzer vodka. Not very good. Yeah, but it's... Uh, it almost tastes like a White Claw. I've never had white it's claw. It's like a less carbonated white claw. You let a let a white claw sit out at room temperature it'll taste for like, like a couple hours. Yeah, it'll taste like this. Okay, yeah. And um the thing is like this didn't this actually is enjoyable to me and I was kind of expecting it to not be enjoyable exactly. So really the drink does taste ironic for me. You didn't think it was gonna be good. I didn't know what to expect. But I also don't know what like what to judge it against. You know? That's fair. I'm not a big fan of champagne in general, mostly because I also don't like seltzer water. You know what this actually tastes like? It tastes like like a dulled uh, like Budweiser. <laughs> that's got a bit of a Budweiser. Yeah, it's taste got to it. yeah, it's got like a Budweiser taste to it. Yeah, I think that's the fermentation. That's you know that's that's the that's the thing too that makes it makes the drink worth the name. Is you buy a Chardonnay and instead you get like um like flat Budweiser. I'm not gonna lie though, it's okay. Yeah. But if you've never had mead, uh, hey, we can find some ironic mead. Okay, no. <laughs> some ironic. Mead. Would it be wouldn't that be post irony? Because it's not even made with fruit, right? <laughs> post ironic liquor. So would that you think that would make sake ironic? Sake's made of rice? No. Because it's Japanese, so I guess it's different. Yeah. Japan. Okay, Google, what's Japanese word for irony? <laughs> Fucking doo doo. Kenja time. I'm sorry, I didn't understand. Did you ask for jokes about radiation sites? Kenja time. Wise man. <laughs> but yeah, I, um. I, I didn't expect this to be enjoyable, uh, really. I didn't expect this to be enjoyable at all. Um, but I didn't, I didn't really have expectations. I'd never, I'd never enjoyed wine. But this actually wasn't bad. I just didn't expect to be drinking fucking flat Budweiser today. It's not bad. It's got a good aftertaste. My roommate says it's not bad. It's got a, uh, it's yeah, a good aftertaste. Yeah, it's got a good aftertaste. Normally, like... Uh... Fucking spritzers of any kind. I'm gonna have a real nasty foot aftertaste, but that didn't have one. But it still tastes the grape. Still tastes. Yeah, like you can. Grape. Yeah, you can still taste the grape. That's true. So that's a big win for me. I prefer it when something's made with fruit that it at least tastes like the fruit. Yeah, and so I, I do. I do get the grape from that. So yeah, the grape's good. Like you can smell the grape for sure. Mm. It's the other thing too. Um, Wow. Yeah, it just tastes like um like lightly carbonated cheese grape. Yeah, um I get the I get the cheese. Yeah, thing. I think that's from the fermentation process. That's that weird cheese flavor. It's not like literally cheese, it's like fucking lick the inside of a the rind of like a aged cheese and that's kind of what it tastes like. Um, but it's not bad. Okay, so... I, would, I wouldn't buy it again. Yeah, I mean, because I, I'm, I'm not... Like I said, I'm not like a wine person, but this wasn't bad. But this is... Irony is inspired by the tale of two brothers who both unexpectedly and happily found their way back to the vineyards and wineries the family has cherished for three generations. Our irony Chardonnay opens up with elegant, enticing aromas of apricot, peach, citrus, and hints of... Soft, toasty oak, the full rich mouthfeel, 
is complemented by flavors of honey, dew melon, dark green apple, and hints of oak. Live life with irony. You know, it's, it, it is weird because we get we get grape, but we don't really get any of the other fucking shit. That, well, I get like the. I don't think it tastes anything like peach. Like I mean, the apricot, I could. Tell I think a they were bit. smoking drugs when they when they probably wrote that. But uh, it definitely tastes like you can. It tastes like apricot seed. Like if you chew on an apricot, don't ever chew on an apricot seed. But it tastes like a <laughs> tastes like a mild apricot seed. And the oak that they kept they mentioned twice is probably them trying to let you know that they aged it in a oak barrel. Yeah, and it, it like I go back to the fact that again, like I I've never been like a fan of wine, but. What's interesting is that it's a cheap bottle of wine that doesn't taste like shit. To yeah, me. how much was it outside of shipping? Uh, it was it was thirteen or fourteen. That's not bad. Yeah, that's about how you can go to the store and you get one for. They probably they might have that at Kroger. I I mean I wouldn't be surprised, uh, and it would be nice to you know go and you know not have to worry about twenty dollars in shipping. Yeah, right. Or whatever. That's the ridiculous part. The yeah. packaging was good though. Yeah, the, pa the packaging was solid, yeah. Yeah, that's a good way to ship it. But yeah, that's, uh... I, I, liked, I liked the format of two people reviewing something at the same time. Um, because I honestly didn't really know exactly what to say. Um, because, I, again, I have no fucking experience with the shit. Um, but, uh, this was not a bad purchase. The nice thing is, now we always have a bottle and a cork to say irony on it. I feel bad that I broke the top of that wall. No, like, it's because it still fits, so. <laughs> I mean, this will be put, because the ball says iron in it, this will be put plastic flowers in. <laughs> Fill it up with water and start using it as a water bottle. Yeah. Yep. Um, but yeah, that was a pretty ironic experience, if I do say so.